Hello, everyone, and welcome to another segment brought to you by the Tetra Society to be part of Connect Together. And here we are in the month of May. And for many, I'm sure, when you think of May, you think of nicer weather, summer's almost here, and of course, hopefully, uh, you think of mothers or your mother um, as Mother's Day is fast approaching. And so we thought it fitting to celebrate projects that have been done by our volunteers for kids. Um, projects have also been done to help parents as well, which indirectly, um, you know, enables them to help their child. Um, quite often as the national coordinator of Tetra, and I should, you'll have to forgive me, I, I should do an introduction of myself. So uh, again, for those who are learning of Tetra, at this very moment, for the first time, I should say that I'm Eric Mullendike, and I work at uh, Tetra's head office here in Vancouver. And of course, due to COVID-19, we are all working from home. So this is my humble abode. But as you can see, I'm representing behind me is a sign for our, our, our Tetra gear. And that's what this is, this lighting system. If you're wondering what's behind his, his head, it's a... Uh, an adapted light, but more on that later. And as the national coordinator for Tetra, I'll get asked, do you do projects for children? And I always like to say, do we? We're always looking to do more projects for children. Uh, myself, a lot of the interest that I have today is because I was exposed to or got to experience something as a child. And a lot of that has stuck with me. And, and so when we get requests and all aspects of, of daily living matter, and that can, is especially true for children. So whether it's a device to more easily play with your friends or study in school, um, you know, whether you're playing, playing the piano, uh, maybe you're a teenager and you're getting into a cooking class. So all aspects of daily living, Tetra is happy to help. And yes, absolutely, kids are included. As these videos will show, um, you know, for different, some of the devices were designed and they're helping many kids at once in a recreational setting. Um, the devices created are just a sampling and it's um, from chapters uh, of Tetra all across the country. We have videos on there from Vancouver all uh, the way through to um, Atlantic Canada in, in Nova Scotia. And again, it'll give you an example of how our project can make a difference, not only in the life of a child, but also um, in the life of um, their parents as well. So one thing I did want to share, um, you know, the, the advantage of a, a Zoom meeting, I'm going to share my screen here for a second. Because I have learned very early on, whenever you're doing a presentation, you can never go wrong if you have a baby in your presentation. So as you can see, this is a roll under crib. And if you wanted to see how this project turns out and how it was created, do go to our YouTube channel and we have put together a sampling of, of kids projects and you'll see how this project turned out. So I just wanted to say thank you very much um, for tuning in. And of course, thank you to all the mothers out there and stay tuned uh, to the Disability Foundation YouTube channel and to connect together for more content. All the best, everyone.